Hi guys, I just wanted to give you five tips, really quick and easy tips to help you maximise how well you do in your exams. And they're really straightforward, but it's essential you follow them to make sure you're in the right mindset. So tip one, make sure you are prepared the night before your exam. Don't be disorganised. Make sure if you've got a maths exam, you know you've got your compass, a sharp pencil, several in case one of those leads breaks. If you've got a protractor, if you've got a ruler, don't go taking like broken rulers and broken protractors and thinking that you're going to be able to do a good job. Your equipment needs to be perfect. So get organised, get your bag packed the night before so you're not scrabbling around in the morning. Make sure you are organised. Make a note of any very last minute things you need to check in the morning. So for some people they may forget like the test for glucose, they may forget that it's Benedict's reagent, that it turns brick red. Just make a note the night before so that you can have that piece of paper with you tomorrow morning. Just have a little look at it um, just before you go into the exam. Obviously you won't be able to take it with you into the exam, but just have a little ref refer to it just to make sure you know everything. Number two, go to sleep at a sensible time. There is little to be gained from pulling an all-nighter. You need your sleep, you need to wake up refreshed, thinking clearly, you don't want to be thinking through the fog of not being able, not having slept the night before because you're not going to be able to do the best of your ability if your mind is clouded. So go to sleep at a sensible time, make sure you have a gap between your last bit of revision and going to sleep. If you're still thinking about your work as, you've, as you're trying to drift off, it's going to be difficult to focus. So do something else, whether it's watching TV or like listening to music, just don't think about work and try and get off social media too because that's not very helpful for sleep, especially if you're all winding each other up. Now, step three, let's look at when you're actually in the exam. That moment they tell you to turn over and begin, you need to take a deep breath, calm yourself down and just not panic basically. Know that you are gonna do your absolute best. There's nothing more anyone can expect of you and take that deep breath and read the question clearly. Make sure you're not skipping over questions. Don't be that person who comes out of the exam being like, I didn't know there was a question nine or a question 12. Make sure you are turning those pages carefully and that you're answering every question that is expected of you. Tip four links to this and it's about how you approach those questions. You have got to underline the keywords and you've got to make sure you're answering every single part of the question. So for example, if it's describing the test, this builder is driving me mad. So, so for example, if it's the test for chloride ions and they want you to state how you carry out the test, you might see beneath they want you to describe the observation. Don't score half marks because you've only described the fact that you need uh, nitric acid and silver nitrate. Make sure you pop in the bottom that you'll get a white precipitate, which is silver chloride. So make sure you're answering all parts of the question. So underline those keywords, particularly with the question word itself. If it's explain, you need to give the science behind the question being asked. If it's to describe, usually that will be saying what you see on a graph or in a table of results. So make sure that question word is in your head and that you're actually answering the question being asked. And then tip five, when it comes to maths, when it comes to finishing the paper, make sure you go over and double check those calculations. Make sure you've learnt those equations properly so you're using them in the correct order because you won't be scoring any marks if you've rearranged the equation poorly and just double check your units have a look at the unit they provided in the answer box make sure your units match in the question if they ask you to provide a unit make sure you do so don't leave it out because that will automatically make you lose a mark so it's essential you learn all those essential physics units Right, I hope you found it helpful. Sorry about the disruption with the guy drilling next door. Um, and let me know if you have any questions, because I'm trying to answer a few more comments at the moment, because I know it's quite a stressful time of year. So if I can support you guys, I really want to. And yeah, look after yourselves.